This is Grizzly Cooks, and tonight I'm gonna be tra uh, living in here in these very woods. Um, I looked all over Lexington, and I found these to be the hardest, harshest, and hardest places to live in. There's very little amounts of animals, and there's very little stuff going on. Every year, hundreds of people die in the, in the wilderness to, due to their inability to survive. But I, Grizzly Cooks will show you how to live in the wilderness. But before I go to the wild, I like to brush up on my facts in all these books. This is outdoor surviving skills, you know, birds of prey, genealogy applied to bugs, insects in America, basic, all these books, basics for your uh, daily survival in the wild. It's been a few hours and so far after uh, several miles of traveling I still haven't found anything close to humanity. So it's really dark tonight and it's slightly chilly so I think it's best to hunker down and make some shelter. Luckily for myself I found a very nicely made shelter already here, very natural. You can find these often in the woods uh, many times during the fall season. This, this is what you need to survive in the world. You see all these edges and the little prongs? Every single one increases your chance to capture your prey. It's not perfect, but just for these kind of situations, all travelers should definitely carry a knife with them. There should be no reason for you not to carry a knife. Don't listen to the law. Remember, this is for your own survival in the wild. It's good, but it's not yet perfect. Just gotta sharpen it a bit. It's very dark tonight. This is very unusual. During these kinds of nights and these kind of woods, it's very normal to hear animal activity everywhere. Constantly. For some reason, there's just not animal! This is a final, final tactic that all Hikers and travelers and woods wanderers should always know. But remember, this should be a last resort. What I'm about to teach you is very, very dangerous. Okay, we finally made it. Last thing to know is if you're very quiet, very stealthy. Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? Get back here. All the edible plants it showed, they weren't there. All the animals that were supposed to be, they weren't there either. Stuff that I expected, they weren't there. It turned out to be very surprising and somewhat depressing night in the woods. If anyone was to do this, I don't think anyone other than trained professionals such as myself should ever attempt such, such things.